Is that Jeff Goldblum? I like Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. He did The Fly, too. Yes, he did. And that movie was not as good. Well, yeah. The whole ending part was so weird. It's like one of those movies that's like, it's like the B movie, like good, so bad, it's good type things. Um, That was a, usually my silly openings are better than that all the time. They're always great. Uh, (laughs) This is a dragonfly, so it has nothing to do with like an actual fly. Well, it does, but it's a fly, I guess. So not really. This this beer is called Greenfly. It comes courtesy of Hot Butcher for the World. Uh, It is Wamea, Wamea. And Simcoe Hop Double IPA, 7.5%, canned on, 8-2. Today's September 16th, a little over a month old, and it says, you have to call me dragon. So I imagine it means because it's a dragonfly. So my Jeff Goldblum joke failed. Uh, we want to thank everyone who's watching. You can uh, find us here on YouTube. We've released multiple videos per week. And uh, you can find everything you want to know about us on uh, nerdsense.net we'll link you to all of our social media and all of our videos it's a great place to go hasn't been updated in years well no it's been updated sorry it, it, it gets updated with every video we post but i mean like site design has not been updated but for us posting blog or if someone would start posting blog posts maybe it would be more worthwhile to update the site design just saying i don't know which way i'm looking i'm supposed to be looking over at mike if i'm not doing it then it's the camera's fault my, and are, are my eyes looking to you? No, they're, they're looking, looking away. They're, they're looking away. There we go. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right. Anyways. So this looks like like golden orange juice. <laughs> did you get a blue hot butcher glass? Oh, you said you brought that glass down. Okay, never mind. I got you. I got you. I said I had the cereal bowl glass. I forgot. I thought you were talking about this, and I was like, that's a weird way uh, to talk about this glass. But anyways, it's uh, um, So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's, you know, completely opaque, uh, and it has a really just luscious finger and a half, almost two fingers ahead. Yeah. It looks awesome. It's got a good amount of legs, too, for 7.5%. Oh, yeah. Want to get a nose? Let's do it. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. There's, some, there's, there's something there, though, right? There's like... Yeah, but it's... I, I can't put my finger on what that nose is. What is that? It's not cat pee. <laughs> now it's on my nose. Now I got it. It's like a resinous... Pretty resiny, dank, tro- yeah. Resiny, dank tropical fruit. That there's like a yeah. fruitiness character, but it's not. It's very subtle. Yeah, but I'm also getting a weird, like almost like caramel thing. It's interesting. I mean, it's not what I expected, based on the yeah. hops. Oh, caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think of that. Yeah, yeah. Because even the 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 wamea wamea, however I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, wamea says it was more. What wamea? Why didn't you correct me? You always correct me. I usually do it off air if I can. Damn it. Yeah, that's interesting. Want to dive Head in? taste. Oh, yeah. Do Let's it. do it. Clink. Cheers. Whoa. Oh, wow. That is a big, big flavor bomb. Mm-hmm. Mm. The mouthfeel. Oh my god. Gorgeous. Yeah, that and there's the Simcoe right at the end. Like yep. like like on, on the back of the palate, it bitters off. Oh wow. It's very sweet. So mm-hmm. yeah. Very like overly ripened tropical fruits, candied fruits in some in some cases. Yeah, it's almost then, like caramelized candied fruit. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um like yeah, if you took like some dried tropical fruits, put some sugar in them, yeah, 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 caramelize them, yeah, yeah, that sounds delicious. But as it finishes, it has hold on, I can't. 
as it finishes, as it finishes from the mid palate to the to like that that Simcoe bitterness, that's where the like like the sweetness kind of elevates. It takes mm-hmm. that like extra oomph. Uh, on, on, on the beginning, it starts less caramelized, and then it kind of. And I say this all the time with hop butcher beers, like the way that that they make that journey with hops is something that I don't really get from. Like, like, there's so many other other breweries that that that, that make great IPAs that that we love, and the cop combinations are awesome. But the way that like they just take you on a journey. Yeah, I feel like um, every time I tell myself, I'm like, man, I'm not really an IPA guy anymore. And then that I have one of theirs, I'm like, oh yeah. It's. It, I think I really do think. I think as far as the beer, at least the breweries that we drink somewhat regularly they're doing the most interesting things with the hops and with IPAs, yeah. you know, like everything they like their stuff, you know, has a, there's a hop butcher thing to it, but like they're getting stuff out of hops that other breweries aren't getting. I, I, I think, yeah, I would hundred percent agree. And, every, and, every, and, and a lot of people watching right now are like, it's because they send it to you. And it's like, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they do. Of course. Like, like we don't hide that fact, but, there is something very, very special about the way that Hot Butcher makes their beers. And like, you don't have to like listen to us or listen to some other beer reviewers. Like go look at like Beer Advocate, go look at Untapped, like just read reviews of, 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 of Hot Butcher in general. And you'll see that like they are up there with the upper echelon of, of breweries and they do something really fucking special with hops. Yeah, I, I agree. I just think that um, it's a, uh, it, it is, they get flavors from certain hops that you know you read that you're supposed to get that a lot of brewers aren't getting you know and it's fine yeah. they're also using a lot of experimental hops that i'm not getting from other breweries sometimes you know yeah because they were one of the first breweries to get the uh, phantasm mm-hmm. them them another half and a few other breweries got that um and the funny thing is i was at a store today and they actually had this and i was and i haven't had it yet and i was like yeah, I, I I have I have a, a can at home. I'll I'll go back, and I'm like, kind of wish I already bought it because now I don't. Now I have to go back. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna go pick up some Cool Bay. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had this this batch yet, but I remember you and Kyle did, it, and then I remember really liking it when I had it too. Yep. So like, so this is... uh, yeah, this is interesting. It's um, it, it just has a, it just has like almost, you know what I'm getting almost like, and it's weird. I'm almost getting, and I've mentioned this before, like almost like honey soaked apricots. It's yes. weird. Uh, okay. I, I was trying to figure that out. Yes, 100%. And you said that in, 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 in other videos, and that's a great descriptor. You know, I, I am getting almost like, um, I'm getting a little bit of like orange juice, almost like, like tangerine juice a little bit. Yeah. But, I, but, and I'm getting, um, it's so getting almost like the caramelized fruit thing, but the biggest thing I'm getting honestly, it's sort of like apricotty, stone fruity, um, yeah, caramelly kind of a taste, you know. Like, but it's I still love to bright. It, it, it's bright. It's like I think when I think caramel and honey and stuff, I think sort of, sort of darker flavors. But it's not. It's like bright. It's it's light. It's 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 airy. The mouth feels deli- is I'm sorry, delicious. The mouth feels just. Yeah. Just luscious. It's just creamy and it's awesome. What an awesome beer. Flavor pro. I think this is my favorite part of doing a hot butcher beer is like reading the tasting notes, like after we already go through it. Um, all right. This is sort of, this is a little bit easier than some of them. Bright tropical. Yep. Yeah. Candied mango. Um, we said candied fruits. So, but we didn't say mango specifically. Um, no. I don't really get mango though. No. Juicy tangerine though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it is interesting because I, I, I really do. It's almost like apricotty to me. You know, it's weird. But, yeah. you know, and I'm not an apricot guy. But, God, this tastes delicious. <laughs> yeah, it, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, down in the comments, if you had Green Fly by Hot Butcher for the World, what do you think of it? They're uh, Waimea and Simcoe Hop Double IPA. As Mike said earlier, thanks, everybody, for watching. Tune in again. I'm Sean. That's Mike. This is Nerd Sense. Stay there.